Hey everyone, welcome back to our last and final episode of Hot Ones. Today we have a special guest joining us, Miss Chavez, our lovely principal. And today we're doing Hot Ones. So how are you feeling about this? Uh, I'm a little nervous, but I think I think we're gonna be okay. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay, let's get started. All the right. First one we have is Slap Your Mama. <laughs> I'm so giggly right now. I don't know why, but it I'm might really be just nervous. for now. Are we taking a bite before we ask the question? Yeah. Okay. I think so. And how big a bite are you taking? Mm, I don't know. All right, let's go. Bit. Okay. Okay. So, mm -hmm. not bad. How was your first year? I heard. Oh my gosh, I. It was fantastic. I don't think it could have gone any better. I mean, I'm sure that there's areas where it could have gone better actually, but um, I had a really great time. You know, as you know, it was coming back home for me. And so I was really familiar with the school coming in. It was also really awesome to meet the, you know, the kids and just to, you know, be around campus. Um, I love to be active with the students on campus. Oh, yeah. And so that's my favorite part, hands down. So is that something you look forward to every day? You know, it's the best part of my day. <laughs> so um, there's a lot of office stuff that I have to do. There's a lot of, you know, just kind of operational business. And that really can be such a drag, you know? Um, and so my escape is always, all right, let me get out there on campus. Let me walk through a classroom. Let me go talk with kids. And that's just, it just instantly uplifts. So how'd you feel about the slap your mama? <laughs> you know, it wasn't bad. It was, it actually tasted really good. It had good flavor. So, so far I'm good. I'm only constant, but it wasn't that bad, I guess. <laughs> Should we take a bigger bite next time? Oh yeah. Okay. I don't want to, but it's fine. The second one we have is the habanero maple syrup. Ooh. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay. Spicy maple syrup, I don't like that. Okay, ready? Yep, let's go. Mm. It doesn't even taste spicy. It doesn't. It's really good though. I could eat the rest of that. That's really good. I might go back to that one. <laughs> Actually, that's not even bad. I might that's go back to that one as like a, a palate cleanser after the other ones. That one's not bad at all. So, for those who don't know you, yeah. can you tell us something about your time at Heritage from when you first started here to your current position? Okay. <laughs> so, when I was first hired here, I was an English teacher and also the yearbook advisor. So I was the very first yearbook advisor. What year was that? Uh, 2007, it was when our oh, school wow. first opened. Yeah. So um, it was so amazing being part of the opening staff and we were only in one building at first. We were only in the Washington building. Um, and then the second year we moved into the Lincoln building. And I think my favorite part was doing journalism and publishing those books, you know? Mm -hmm. And a lot of those students that I had from 2007 to 2013 and all of those books that we published, I still talk to today. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So um, it's really fun because now they're older. Some of them have children. Some of them are teachers also. And um, it was really exciting when they found out that I was coming back here because they were super excited about that. Okay. And just kind of the journey that we had um, in the classroom, you know, and it was always such a family atmosphere, kind of like what you guys have in media arts. Uh, one of my favorite traditions that we had in HHS yearbook was at the very end of the year, whenever we finished our final deadline and we submitted the final deadline, um, we would have a sad movie day. And uh -huh. <laughs> we would pick just the saddest movie we could find. And then we would have uh, boxes of, of tissues on every desk and we have like, you know, popcorn and we'd watch a movie and we would just sob, like just sob hysterically. And we would have football players crying with us and just, <laughs> Yeah, That's everybody, and it was really good. Um, yeah. And why do you want to come back to this school? You know, this school gave me so much. It was, um, uh, I was a brand new educator, brand new teacher, and it really instilled my love for education, for teaching, for working with students. It really developed me into the educator that I am today, and it gave me so much and really propelled my career and when there was an opportunity to come back and to be able to pay it forward and serve this community that gave me so much, I jumped at the chance. I'm glad you did. You're a great yeah. principal. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Now, 
Let's move on to this next one. Actually, how okay. do you feel about it? It was good, right? Not spicy. This last one, yeah. not bad at all. Not bad. I probably will go back and eat the, the second <laughs> half of it after we finish this. Yeah, this one's the sweet chili sauce. All right. The logo looks Indian. I love Indian food, so. So I think Indian food's really spicy. Let's see. Here we go. Are you taking a big bite? I have to. <laughs> okay. That was really good. That's one, that's one not bad either. I think it's fine. Did you guys give us like mild ones or something? <laughs> <laughs> I talked to Mr. This, I don't know. I talked to Mr. Washburn who did this and he told me he was like in tears. This isn't that bad. Maybe it's mm -hmm. these three that are gonna be Maybe. Really bad. Maybe. So And I don't think you guys skimped on the sauce either, because I can see it all over, like down here at the bottom, so. So, what has been a strong memory for you here as a principal at Hinton? Oh gosh, so many. Probably from like this year, beginning. From this school year. Okay, so one of my favorite moments, and um, was probably the very first day of school. And you know, um, there's very few principals that look like me, right? That are, you know, just like a little, you know, Filipino girl, right? And so, um, and we've heard so many times that representation matters, you know? And I just remember my first day of school and I was greeting kids as they were coming into the gate, you know, just saying hi to everybody. I remember there was a group of, of, of girls that walked by and two of them were Filipino and I could tell. And just the look on their face when, when they walked by and they saw me, they were like, oh, just that, you know, and, and right then I thought, gosh, this is really powerful. You know, this, this, this is really something, right? So that was a really cool memory. And then another really cool memory that I really love was when we had to reschedule a basketball game that typically is after school, but it occurred during the school day. Oh, yeah. And we brought in kids from PE and, and just opened it up to whoever oh. wanted to come into the gym. And although it was just a regular season basketball game, just the kids that were in there, it was like a championship game. Like the, the gym erupted, it was, a, it was amazing. And um, I really want all of our sporting events that way to be yeah. that exciting right and so I know that our kids want it our community wants it and so now it's just how can we make it more available and yeah. accessible yep. from that first story I was excited too because I'm Filipino oh yeah yes. oh awesome <laughs> okay you want to do the next one now sure this one is Caribbean jerk okay my piece is kind of small so I'm probably gonna I'm just gonna eat this one <laughs> I'm not. Ready? <laughs> That's peppery. That doesn't even taste good. No? Mm -hmm. That's very peppery. Oh, okay. That's got a kick. Am I allowed to spit it out? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I don't need a vomit, but like I don't want it. This one, this one, I think, yeah, yeah it's, it's the spiciest so far. Cause it really like, <laughs> it like lingers in your mouth. <laughs> we only have two more. Are these the same ones that you guys have been using mm -hmm. for all the episodes? There's only like a little bit. <laughs> okay. Oh but these are the okay. same ones that everybody else did? Yeah. Okay, so far I think we're rocking it. Okay. Yeah, we're doing good. So what is a lifelong accomplishment you've achieved or you want to achieve? Oh my gosh. Okay, so that I want to achieve. Mm -hmm. um, I would love to write a book someday. That is mm -hmm. that is my goal. I would love to be a published author. Anything um, you want to write about? You know, definitely something about education, right? Um, I love, I, I am just a teacher at heart. So uh, it really, I get the warm and fuzzies whenever I hear somebody wants to be a teacher, wants to be in education, or is a current teacher and wants to be in leadership or administration. I just think that's so cool because this job is tough and it requires so much of your heart. Um, 
And whenever someone does it or says that they want to do it, I think it's super exciting. And so I'd love to write a book to continue to mentor and help encourage um, educators. But I think if I ever were to write like a like a novel, like a you know, I would do like a young adult novel that was set in high school, because my entire career has been in high school. I've right. never I've never taught elementary or anything like that. And so I think I have a pretty good feel for you know with teenagers. Is there anything that you have achieved that you're proud of? Um, you know, gosh, a lifelong accomplishment. You know, I'm really proud of proud of my kids you know and not just my own children you know like my daughter who's who's 16 and my son who's 10 but my kids like my students you you know um your successes are are my successes right and the, and I am super proud of that so whenever I hear you guys and you guys accomplish something amazing I'm like holy cow like like I you know I feel like so proud you know like like I was the one that did it too you know it's so exciting to me right um, I love this time of year when it's when it's graduation season, banquet season, award season, because you guys get to celebrate all of your hard work. And I get super emotional about it because um, that we were able to provide this environment, this school where you could do that, where you could explore these things that you love to do, right? And hoping that it opens doors for you in the future. So that to me is a major accomplishment. Thank you for giving us the opportunities. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go to this next one. Okay. Called garlic reaper sauce. All right. Okay. That one looks scary. <laughs> okay. Let's see. All right. Big bite. Oh, I'll take a big bite. Okay. <laughs> Tastes like soap. Oh my god. <laughs> Does not taste like soap for you, or like something that is not an edible. Food. That's really nasty. Yeah, that one is not tasty. Oh, okay, hold on. Oh, that one. That was not good. I think I'm crying a little bit. I need something else. I'm gonna take a bite of this other one. I really. <laughs> oh, that's hot. If you have a piece of this sweet one, <laughs> why'd you make me do It'll that? help. That one was wild. That is wild. What is this? It does not taste like something edible. It tastes like a lighter fluid. <laughs> or gas. <laughs> Whew. Okay. If you had to switch places right. or body with someone for a week, who would you switch with? Damn, I can't talk. <laughs> My mouth is numb. Oh my god. Whew. Okay. Like a real life person or like a fictional person? Um. I probably would want to like maybe go back and switch places with like high school me. <laughs> with the things that I know now, you know? Because I think my outlook would have been so different about high school. And I think that's why, like, it's so important for me that you guys have a good experience. Are you okay? Because <laughs> oh. I think of the things that, like, I experienced in high school and the things that I would have wanted my experience to be, right? So, yeah, I would, I would switch places with my old self. I don't think I'm ready for that last one. Yeah, I don't know either. I, I, I took a really big bite of that one. I was seriously good. Like these four, not bad. That was terrible. That's terrible. <laughs> How many more questions do we have? One more. Okay. I can't do it though. Okay. I'm gonna just kind of like 
sit in your sit on your tongue for a bit. <laughs> so for this last one, I know Freddie's been wanting to do it all year, so I'm gonna let him take over. Do you need the milk? I'm taking the milk. Right. Okay. Hi, Freddy. Hi. Do you wanna do you wanna catch up and take a bite of each of the other ones? Um, sure. Or <laughs> no, I just did the last one. And I'll okay. Try it off. Or I'll ask her the last question. So. <laughs> All right. All right, Freddy. So, okay. Take the bite. Um, so, Ooh, are cheese. you ready? Yes. All right. Here we go. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> I took a smaller bite. Oh, oh it's a whole thing. That does not taste good. It's bitter. Okay, you took a second bite. I'll take a second bite. Mm. How do we feel about the spice? Ooh. Uh, it hasn't hit me yet, but it's bitter. Yeah. Ooh, that does not taste good. Very bitter. Like something edible. Like, why would someone enjoy eating them? I'm tasting plywood. <laughs> I'm tasting like, like cleaning, like like when getting the hiccups. <laughs> All right, ready? You good? I just got the hiccups. I'm sorry. That's not. That's not delicious. Ooh, that hurts. <laughs> you know, I always make fun of them when they overreact on the bomb. Um, oh, that hurts. <laughs> it's getting hotter. It's, it's all over my oh, head. God. <laughs> <sighs> it's getting hotter. It's hotter. I'm going to get some water. Wait, no, actually, Ooh. no, I won't get water. <laughs> For our last question, we have, would you, sorry, how would you leave your legacy here? How would you le like to leave a legacy here at our school as our principal? That's a hard, that's a tough one. Hold up. Oh no, I can talk here. <laughs> okay, let me compose myself because that one is, that one hurts. It hurts a lot, guys. <laughs> You know, maybe I'll do your method. Which one's the sweet one? This one. I'll try it. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> it's a little That's a tough one. All right, go. All right. <sighs> Don't get any letters here, too. <laughs> Calendar are the things that we do. Things we do for Calvin's art. Woo! Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's okay. So, legacy. Legacy is like so big, right? You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm still here. <laughs> I'm glad we could do that one. That would have sent her over the edge. Legacy. So what I'm gonna leave behind, honestly, is I don't know why I can't even start that conversation. <laughs> I keep saying other That's things. Okay. All right. So what I want, the dream for the legacy is that kids, students, and teachers, and anybody who comes to Heritage, right? I want them to leave behind with like these amazing stories of their experience here. Right. So my legacy that I want is that when people were here with the time that I was here too, that they come back saying, that was the freaking best place ever. Yeah. You know, <laughs> that was the best school. I had the best experience. I want teachers to be like, that was the best place to work. I loved every second of it. And that's my hope. That's a legacy I want to leave. 
<laughs> so Freddie, <laughs> what is your best memory of high school? Um, I'd say, um, I don't know if people know this, but um, my freshman year I actually went to Orange Vista, mm. and um, I decided to come here to do sports. My sophomore year, but you know, as the pandemic happened, and I didn't really um, know anyone when I came here. Uh, or my sophomore year, I didn't really have any friends. Mm. Um, and then my junior year, I like uh, I heard this silly thing called, or at least to me at the time, it, it was silly, uh, leaving your legacy. Mm -hmm. And um, I didn't accomplish much at Orange Vista, and I wanted to be more involved in the school. Awesome. So. I uh, put this program called uh, Digital Production. Yep. I I saw it and I, uh, you know, I, <laughs> it was. Um, I am so grateful to just um, join the class and be able to, you know, make projects. We got to do mus music videos. Mm -hmm. um, Kalantar has let me on to West Valley to go uh, record some musicals as well. And then one of the big ones was uh, the Berkeley Field Trip, which I'm very thankful to be able to go. Um, originally, uh, you didn't let me go, but uh, <laughs> um, due to uh, Israel not being able to make it, I was able to replace him. But uh, definitely um, joining this class, just being involved, everything behind the scenes with the camera work and everything, um, I'm uh, grateful to leave that legacy. And as well as I got um, this year, I believe I got the athlete or character athlete award. Awesome. And, um, <laughs> I didn't expect that to get that award uh, mainly because I wasn't here all four years, so I didn't, I didn't think I was worthy of the award. Um, but always when I'm doing anything, whether it's digital production or tennis, um, I always try to, you know. Uh, <laughs> <sorry>. <laughs> I always just, um, I don't know, um, I try my best for everyone and feel welcomed. Um, if there's pointers I can give to people, I always, I'm always, I always try to be a team player, mainly, so. Well, thank you. Yeah. That's awesome. We did <laughs> yeah. it, Freddie. We did it. All right. Um, any final word or advice you'd like to give to the class of 2023? Oh my gosh. Okay, well, number one, do not eat this hot sauce. Yeah, try to um, but just have a good time and... Don't be afraid of failure. You know, those are the opportunities that help us grow into better people. So just just go out there and do it, you know, and, and do the things that you think you can't do, because you can. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, definitely get involved as much as you can in this school. Um, we have tons of clubs here. Like we have the filming class as well as pottery and whatnot, but just like Miss Lindsay Chavez said, just try to get involved. That's right. <laughs> and leave your legacy. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You guys are coming in here thinking. We're coming back. We're coming back. I'm going to tell you something right now. I'm going to take another bite. You guys saw me on the last episode. Um, and he's back. I'm back. As a matter of fact, two time. I'm going to finish moments. off the scraps because I am a man of not letting food go to waste. I don't waste food. I don't. <laughs> Why is he? Why? But, uh, I have the main camera on and I'm talking over here, but like I said, we built, we built different guys. I'm going to get water though. No, no, no. I did it without water. He should be able to do it. What's that? This was Reese's. Uh, this this uh, has nothing uh, to do with me. Okay, okay, okay. Like, come on. So you want me to bite this one? The bomb? Yep. Okay, but I'm going. I'm going from here to here. Okay. Sure. Last well, you don't taste good. Are you guys gonna eat them? Yeah, I did it okay. last time. I done the whole thing. Oh yeah. Mm, the, okay. I'm telling the first Number four one, tastes good. Not us. I guess we're going for that. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna do it again? The first four, nothing. I'll do it again. With this you. one. This What's one that? That one's so good. What's that? I don't know what that is. Um, I forgot what this is called, but it's this one. We'll try it right now. Is it is it kick kicking it? Do you feel anything? No. Nah. 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 N
Washburn, man. We went crazy. We did last year. We got the Carolina Reaper sauce. What's this called, right? What's it called? Oh, garlic Reaper sauce. Sorry. Oh, Carolina garlic Reaper sauce. You're not letting me catch up, guys. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm going all in. Last one again. I'm being it together. It gives you a nice gentle hug around the tongue. <laughs> wow. Wow. <clears throat> yeah, we'll do the last one together. Probably three. Dang, that's the size of my The Carolina Reaper sauce. Mm. So it's the it's like the juice from the pepper. Um I get what you mean. That plywood? I tell Calvin I like this one. Like, I <laughs> no. I think this is my average heat, like on a daily. Oh. Now you're showing up. Now he's doing too much. Yeah. <laughs> you're doing too much. It's okay. Who are you trying to impress right now? <laughs> the audience. The audience. The audience. This is for you guys. Always. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Okay. So while he's um, doing that, I'm going to answer the last question. How would you leave a legacy as your as your senior representative? Oh no, senior representative, like you said. Um, um, lead crew leader. Lead crew leader. Right? Lead crew leader. Or just as a senior student. Um, I want to leave my legacy by doing one thing, and that's acknowledging others and yourself when you can. If that makes sense, you know, just just being being proud of your accomplishments, and you know, and you other people's accomplishments around you it definitely boosts you know your not your ego what do you call it your self esteem because it's like you know that you can do so much things the sky's the limit for anybody like your brain is always expanding you're always growing scientifically they tell you that you're just gonna stop growing but your body never stops changing you know what I'm saying as you get older there will be different I'm not. things that happen stuff <laughs> so tell happened? me not to throw up I'm not going to um, <clears throat> yeah, but I want to say acknowledging, just, 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 just being there for people being there, yeah. and being there for yourself is a great thing. Um, there will be times where people will try to take advantage of that, but it's the world. That's how the world works. Like there's no explanation to it. It's a supernatural thing. It's not a supernatural thing. It's just a common thing around, you know, but yeah, just acknowledge others and everything else will come. Sometimes life is just the bomb. It is. And other times, it's just reaping. It's reaping at you. And sometimes life just like slaps your mama in the face. Wait, no, wait. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like a slap, slap to your mama. Slap to you. It's a slap to your mama sometimes. Yeah. But you know what you gotta do? You gotta be like him. Keep it at peace. Peace. Peace within yourself and peace will come right. to you. Right. Most different ways, you know what I'm saying? Hydrate. There's a saying where if you give, if you give to others, it will come back to you. It goes full circle, and it really does. Um, not in a, my, may, it may not be in a form you want it to. You know what? We're stalling. We're stalling. He's stalling. Like I'm not stalling. I'm not stalling. You're stalling. Me stall? You stall. Okay, you ready? Eat that piece of chicken. This one? Oh, we're clearing. Okay. Cleaning the table. All of it. Gotcha. Oh. Oh. Come on, bro. Like, come on. Like, come on. It's just hot sauce. Mm -hmm. Hi, Cody. 
Go there. That's whatever. All right. Now finally we're here. The last hot sauce. I wasn't able to talk before, but now I can talk now. You want to say anything to the camera before we start? I want to say. Shout out. Now. I might drink this water after this. Because guys, I'm going to be honest. This is very hot. Y'all think it's not, but it really is. It's bad. It's bad. I will finish the hot ones challenge without drinking water. <sighs> because I'm like... I swear you drink water. I did not drink water. You did? Check the footage. I did not drink water. Okay, okay. He didn't drink water. He didn't drink water. We're going to eat all of it. All of I didn't finish my chicken. We're going to finish it today, baby. I'm going to lose my hearing. Yeah. Cheers. I'm gonna regret this. I'm gonna regret this. senior <clears throat> don't be afraid to try things even if it's scary even if it, it you know you might go through some pain here and there outcome will always be good you guys life is life deal with it hey hey um, I think not eating anything for breakfast or lunch today definitely did not help. Nope. Clean it. But I'm sticking to my word. I'm not drinking water. I'm oh, sorry. Sticking to my word. I'm not drinking any water. I haven't drank water, water either. No, I'm drinking water. You know, when Fasha was in there, she ran out of here on the second to the last one. She's like crying. You know what I Yeah. Shout out to everyone that has oh. done this. Um, oh. Wow. That's a wrap, guys. Make sure to tune in for the next, for next year. And... That's a wrap, guys. Thank you for watching our last hot ones with our special yeah. guest, Miss Chavez. Oh, if you guys want to see more, make sure to tune in next year. And let's see what other great things we can make. Peace out, guys. Love from New York. Um, <clears throat> I was going to have him come here and sing a song, you know, dumb. Dong saying creep. So, if you guys saw Mr. Heritage, you know, you better run, 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 because here the sun comes wrapped in hot sauce. Because <laughs> we're cruising for some. Bombing. For bombing. We're uh, bombing for some cruising. Two chairs and an open door wrapped in. Uh, and if you want to eat chili, I love you. You made things easier. I could always rely on you in case I needed a little spice in my life. But I got to go. I got places to be and things to achieve. Oh,
Ana means family. Oh, Ana means family. Benito to me means nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Uh, next we got sweet chili sauce. You know what's gonna be sweet? Throwing you away. Uh, and just like that, we're back to sophomore year. Oh, uh, you've been a jerk. Yeah, we were all jerks, guys. Oh. Uh, uh, you know, like, you still haven't phoned your buffalo. Uh, your wings. Uh, yeah. Join the hero. Uh, life is like Mother Death or something like that, or the Green Reaper. It'll claw at you when you expect it the least. But you know what you do? You take on challenges head on. Wow, you're sucking that wow. That, that, wow. You're next. I'm in pain! <laughs> I don't even want to talk to you. Go away. <laughs> it's our senior year. <laughs> We're graduating next week. We're not even gonna be in our classes. <laughs> My throat hurts. No, not in the hustle. <laughs> um. <clears throat> oh my god. Do you know which side she drank out of? <laughs> if he doesn't want to just drink out of the bottle. Do you want some? <laughs> <laughs> no. no. Tastes nasty. There is why. Oh, that's disgusting. Why did you buy this? It was a request. <laughs> From who? It's chocolate. <laughs> it's, 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 I just want vitamin D. Wait. It actually has. It's vegan. That's yeah. why. It has two. MCGs, whatever, 10% vitamin D. Or 100% vitamin D. <laughs> so, Freddie, how's your day today? You know? Whatever. Oh, nice. Because it's my United States of whatever. Whatever, Ellen? Ah, United States of whatever! But you know, hermano. Actually, you're right, hermano. Sometimes, you gotta keep things spicy. Whether it be... in life. You know? <clears throat> yes. <clears throat> yes! You know what? I'm gonna drink some more nasty milk. Yes! Good ping from a couple times. The dad. <laughs> oh. Not again, guys. I don't think you're gonna beat the hot sauce. Or it's really beating my stomach. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> the, f oh, I can't even do anything. the chicken is not sitting well in my stomach. Oh, Paul. We are raps and 